Does your Toyota rattle on cold starts? Well today we're going to be taking a look inside this engine to see what's causing the rattle and what it would take to solve this problem. Now the one second rattle on cold starts is very common with VVTi engines from Toyota, this one being the 3 liter V6 from my Camry. And that's because the variable valve timing actuator is located under the valve covers near the back of the engine here on this bank and inside of here on this bank. So this area is where the noise is coming from. Now this is going to be a cold start because the car has been sitting for a day and we're going to be listening for a one second and rattle after startup from this side of the engine. So here I've got the engine all torn apart here. Now this is a V6 engine, so we have one bank on this side and the other bank over on this side. Now the intake side is these two inside camshafts and the exhaust side are the two outside camshafts. Now this engine only has variable valve timing on the two intake camshafts and these are the actuators here. Now if you remember my video on how variable valve timing works, oil pressure is used to change the phase angle between the input coming from this gear here which is ultimately connected through the exhaust camshaft and driven by the timing belt on this side to the output which is the intake camshaft. Now that oil pressure is controlled by this oil control valve which is ultimately controlled by the ECU. Now let's yank this out and take a look at what's going on inside of this variable valve timing actuator. So if you take a closer look at the variable valve timing actuator, it's got this big nut on the back here. I'm not sure how I'm going to get that off. But on the front side here we have these fasteners. Now these fasteners are not torques but instead they're like a security bit got a dot in the middle and it's called a TS40 and you would just put this in here to undo these screws. I got a pack of these on Amazon for like 12 bucks. I got a link in the description below. And with those bolts free you can pop off this gear. I found out the big nut at the back is reverse threaded so I've got it mounted in my vise here. I'm gonna give it a tap with the hammer. So as I thread off that nut I can then remove the VVTi mechanism here now these are all just coated with oil so I'm just going to come with a piece of my brother's old underwear here and some brake cleaner and clean these up so we can have a closer look at what's inside. Now inside of the cam phaser here I'm just going to pull out this center piece. You can see that we have these little sliders here and the most important part is this locking pin. So inside this actuator we have this inside piece here which connects to the camshaft and forms the output of the variable valve timing actuator. We then have the input side here which is bolted to this gear which is driven off of the exhaust camshaft which we mentioned earlier. Now when the input and the output are locked this pin here is going to engage into this hole over here on the housing and that's going to keep it in its most retarded position. Now when the timing needs to be advanced this pin is going to get unlocked through oil pressure that's sent through this little housing over here and that's going to pop the pin in allowing for a relative change in angle between these two. And that's where we come to the root cause of this VVTi rattle, this little pin over here which could sometimes wear out or be lazy to retract due to just carbon buildups. You can see this one here is really black inside of there. Now because this pin no longer engages with the housing, the input and the output is now free to move relative to each other, especially when you turn off your car overnight and all the oil drains out. There's no spring pressure forcing it to go back and click inside. When you turn on your car in the morning, you're going to hear the input and output move relative to each other and that's what's causing that rattle until it actually clicks in and engages for that one second that it takes to build up oil pressure. Now you can see the wear on the inside of this housing here that this pin is caused by moving back and forth. Luckily there's a steel insert in there that takes the brunt of the wear on this aluminum housing but eventually this whole thing's just going to wear down and then you're not going to have proper control of the variable valve timing. Let's see what's inside this other VVTi gear. Now what's interesting is you can still see the machining marks from the tool bit on the CNC that milled this out. This one's actually got a considerable groove. I can feel it through my brother's tooth brush here as I move it across so it actually made a little trench here. This pin is definitely really sticky so I'm pretty sure this is the one that was rattling in the car. Now the real question is is it worth changing out this variable valve timing actuator in order to remedy that noise? Now if you think about it you have to remove both valve covers and the timing side of the engine in order to access this variable valve timing gear. Now usually at the mileage that these fail at it's not worth going into the engine to do all that work just to change this out unless if you're in there already doing a rebuild or something. It's also not going to do much harm to your engine, it's just going to wear out this housing a bit and cause that rattling noise on startup. So if you think about it, your neighbors have far more to worry about than a little rattling noise waking them up in the morning, especially if your neighbor's got a straight pipe Honda Civic and his shift starts at 4 a.m. Now this VVTi rattle should not be confused with the ones in the 3.5 Lexus engines. That one is where these bolts actually come loose. Now that's dangerous because it can actually stop your engine when it comes loose, so make sure you get that recall done. Now that's pretty much the sucker that causes that rattle on startup. Make sure you 
follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes footage and subscribe for more videos just like this one.